Good morning, my name is Johan Wichter. I represent Pergam Technical Services. The intent of this instructional video is to present the Laser Methane Mini, which is a remotely methane detecting handheld instrument to you to explain a little bit about the uh, menu structure, some of the uh, operational features, and, uh, and uh, hopefully answer the questions that you have relative to this instrument. Uh, this instrument detects methane at a distance. This instrument is a self-calibrating remote methane detector. What happens is that when I turn the turn button on here on my left, you will see from my right to my left a blue line moving across the user interface of the instrument. This, uh, this process here um, means that the instrument, which has an internal uh, methane cell is going through its self calibration process. You can see it's just completed, it takes about 22 seconds. What I've just done means that in order for you to be able to use this instrument, there's nothing else you have to do while this process um, is going on. As of right now, the instrument is fully operational. I'm going to tip the instrument a little bit here, and you'll be able to see a green guide beam. On the wall behind me. This guide beam just means that the instrument is operational, it has been calibrated, and it's ready for use. The instrument works up to a uh, works at a hundred feet distance. You'll be able to see methane at that distance, and the green beam here is really just generally for you to help pinpoint the laser <clears throat> at the specific location that you are investigating. It is a class one iSafe instrument. For more detail you have the green laser right here and then you have the invisible to the naked eye methane laser at 1.65 nanometers just slightly below here. The way this instrument works is that the laser beam bounces back and forth between the area of investigation, in this case the wall, and back into what we refer to as the optical area. What happens is that if there is methane within the area, within uh, the area being investigated, the methane will be absorbed by the laser and less laser will be reflected back. That difference between the laser going out and the laser uh, coming back into the optical area is reflected on the user interface of the instrument. It detects methane uh, immediately within a tenth of a second and shows you the concentration on a user interface here. In addition we have a menu structure on the instrument that allows you to set alarm level. It has an offset feature that allows you to mitigate for false positives. It has sound, it has beam strength, it has a detection lamp, and more importantly <clears throat> we have a unit of measurement. I'll go a little closer here, maybe we can see what that looks like. We have a unit of measurement that allows you to choose between parts per million times meters, percent gas, and lower explosive limits. So as a user, you have the ability to choose between three different uh, units of measurement. Uh, there is a feature on here called gas test. It is not relevant to this, uh, to this instrument. It is a legacy feature. You can completely disregard that. And furthermore, in the event that you're using our app, Gas Viewer, then you can connect it through Bluetooth with an Android platform and store and gather information that way. Aside from that, battery life on this unit is about four, four and a half, five and a half hours of continuous use, subject to um, the amount of surveying that you're doing. So that will be continuous use upwards of five hours. I'm going to turn the instrument off, which is there. I've turned it off. I'm going to show you how to disconnect the battery. Very simple. Turning the instrument over. I am releasing the screws here lower level, these two right here, and pulling the battery off the instrument. This is a 
nickel metal hydrite battery. This is the, uh, the body of the instrument itself. The way we put it together is very similar to the way that we took it off. You slide it into the instrument, you tighten the screws, and we are back to an operational status. At this point, I'm going to turn the same button on that I turned it off with. It's going to go through its calibration process. You'll note from my right, in this case to my left, the blue lines moving across the screen indicate that the instrument is going through its calibration process. So once again, at this point, there's nothing you have to do to make this instrument operational. It is dirt proof, it is splash proof, it is drop proof in a rubber protector case upwards of three feet. It is not swim proof, so don't go swimming with it. There are very few moving parts in this instrument, which makes it extremely user friendly. Uh, from a repair standpoint, almost no expense to keep and maintain this instrument. The battery, um, in case you have questions about the battery, is good for up to 5,000 charges. And uh, the second battery can be ordered if you uh, um, want to bridge an entire uh, serving day, upwards of five hours. Um, we offer Pelican cases also. And uh, <clears throat> this will not blind you, but obviously, from a safety standpoint, we do not want you to be pointing the instrument at, uh, uh, at anybody. So that is uh, a quick overview of the features of the instrument. Next what I'll do is I will um, get a methane bag and I'll show you how the instrument reacts when it sees methane and explain a little bit about how it works in conjunction with working through a, a uh, window, commercial glass, and the plastic and so on. And that'll be our next little overview. Thank you.